and it's the Hot Mess Mums Club. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mouthful. A bit, a bit of a mouthful, <laughs> but it is. I guess it's a very easy job for you because it's you and your mates talking about things that you probably may be talking about anyway, but yeah. it's just sharing your stories. Yeah, no, it is. Um, so I met Kelly. I've been working on in radio for the last year and a half um, on Hits Radio, and I do a Sunday show with Wes Butters, a.k.a. The Growler. Okay. So I do a show with him, and I met Kelly. She also does a show. And um, being mums, we just kind of got talking. And then it's kind of taken off a bit. Uh, probably because we are very honest, um, but I think you can't do these things unless you're honest. No, you know? exactly. And you have said that you have no filter in many respects. And certainly you would sort of talk about everything, certainly with your friends and your family. Yeah. And you're a bit like this on the podcast, really. But that's what makes it authentic for the listener, yeah. I feel. Hopefully. I mean, I'm not perfect. Um, I feel like as a mum, yes, I've got four children and I should know what I'm doing by now. But my youngest is seven and my eldest is 18. And I feel like when they were little, it was really hard and I was always complaining, always tired. But now I've got teenagers, it's a whole different ball game, and I still feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah every and it's day's a school day. Yeah, <laughs> and it's just like new challenges. Um, so, yeah, I'm still learning as a mum, mm. and I don't claim to know everything. Yeah. Um, and I am a bit of a, a you know... Hot mess mum, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> we mentioned earlier there that how, um, how you had said the best money you'd ever spent was having someone in occasionally to basically look after the little one at night time so that you could get a good night's sleep. And yeah. I'm betting there are many a parent sitting watching this right now going, I wish I could have done that last yeah, night. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it was a, having a night nurse, which is what they're called. I mean, when I first heard about it, I was like, what the hell is that? Um, I'd had two kids. I'd been on Emmerdale. I didn't have any help. My mum you know, doesn't live near me. So me and Harry just did everything ourselves. Then I had, I was pregnant with my third and someone had recommended a night nurse. And I was like, what is that? Someone comes in to look after your baby at night while you get a good night's sleep and then you're up ready for the day. And I thought, yeah, my husband was living abroad at the time. I was on my own with three children. I didn't do it every night, but the nights that I did do it, I had that really good sleep. So when I woke up the next day, I could take, you know, my two little ones into school or nursery not in my pyjamas, yeah. <laughs> you know, frazzled with a baby. I, it just worked for me. And like I said, yeah, it is a massive luxury. And I was lucky enough that I could do it. Um, and I would recommend it to anybody. Mm, yeah. It just, yeah. It, well, it's the sleep deprivation. It's it gets the worst, all, isn't it? It yeah. is. It's definitely, definitely the worst. But the podcast has opened up now and you're bringing guests in as well. It's not just you and Kelly anymore. No, it's not. And we're really lucky. We've had some really lovely guests. And, you know, if we can give a little bit of help to mums out there that think, am I doing this right? Or, you know... What do they think about this? So, yeah, we've had, um, we had Jane Wake on this week. She was brilliant. She's a fitness expert. You're constantly asking yourself if you're doing things right, yeah. particularly as a first-time mum, I yeah. think. So to have something that you can just, just refer to, yeah. it's a lovely thing. Because being at home a lot of the time, lonely maybe is too strong a word sometimes, but it, there is a sense of that. You yeah. kind of do feel like I'm doing this on, your, on my own. Yeah. And to feel like you're part of a club helps, yeah, definitely. whether you're a mum or a dad. Hopefully, yeah, definitely. And I think, um, you know, the podcasts are only about 20 minutes long, so you can just download it, listen to it while you're, I don't know, doing the ironing or something. Yeah. And I, we hope that it feels like, Kelly and I hope that it feels like, that we are your mates and we are just chatting and you're part of that group. So hopefully that's coming across. Yeah. I mean, we, we talk about mates, but do, do you miss that sort of camaraderie of a, of a soap and being oh. in that sort of environment? Because that consumed your life for so many years. Yeah, really. I do. I do miss it. I'm still in touch with all my pals from Emmerdale. I went to see my friend Charlie Webb the other day. He's just had a baby. I was just going to say, yes. new mum again. Yeah, yes. so yeah. I, it's, it's been really... Uh, so I, I keep in touch with everybody, but I feel like my kids are my little gang. And, you know, they keep me so busy. So I still have that, you know, that mm. nice... I, st I can't believe that your son's 18. Neither can I. Oh, my goodness I can't. me. And I he's know. in amongst the A-level results yes, today, Yes, he gets he? his results today. And I didn't want to speak to him or find out until after I finished <laughs> here. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have put me off. So, yeah, he gets his A-level results today. And my daughter, Ruby, gets half of her GCSE results today. So it's a massive day in the Kuehl household. Of course it is. It's so stressful. It's, I know, oh, I know. I don't envy anybody today. <laughs> You've got it all to come. It's very, very difficult. And this is you sort of at home for the first 
foreseeable future, isn't it, Shree? Because I know you've been, because of, of Harry and the whole football thing, as I well know, yes. you're all over the place a lot of the time. Yeah. But you, home is sort of home. Home now, is now, it? yeah. Unfortunately, Harry lost his job uh, just before Christmas in the football world. It's yeah. so cutthroat. Right. Um, but actually, he hasn't been home for about four years. So it's been really nice to have that extra pair of hands. So he's been doing the school run, making the tea. You know, yeah. it's, it's been so nice to have him home, just to be there with the kids. I mean, I'm sure he'll go off and get another job soon. But at the minute, we're enjoying just all being together as a family. Absolutely, because it's so rare, as I well know. Yeah. Well, like we say, Shree, the Hot Mess Mums Club podcast is just full of honest conversation. <laughs> and, yeah, it's, it's kind of what you need in yes. those moments, as oh, I yeah. well know. <laughs> Great to see you, Shree. Thank, Thank you so much.